NRG Stadium in Houston. Kaimi Fairbairn ready to get this one going. And we're off and running from Houston. And that one hit the landing zone first and then into the end zone. So it's going to be a touchback out to the 20. So their offense out now to get this game started. It's first and 10. Here we go. Looking to throw right away. Rifles it and it's caught. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Offense in the hurry up here. From the 30 on second down. They just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Working quickly here. He'll go again with Warren. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. Offense up to the line fast. Now Fields. This is reeled in by Wilson. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. Now their opening drive certainly going according to plan, Bronk. It's a new set of downs at the 27. Looking to throw fields. Chased out to his right. The ball's out. The ball's out. He lost it. And the fumble recovery is made. Well, that right there is exactly how you kill some momentum. An early setback, no doubt, but the first time out fumbling it away in enemy territory, that's tough. And such a bummer, right? Because the journey was going well. You script for success, you get that ball moving, and then you're right, you just lose all sorts of momentum. Got to recapture it the next time. Moving we'll quickly, trying to get set again. Throwing his crowd. Completed to Collins. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. Second and six now. Got a man open. Complete. And what a hit there. Alex, she faced the press for moving the chains that time. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom. Connect on a big shot and instantly. You set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone whoa, following whoa, that big play. Whoa. Throwing it again here. Don't need long to take a 6-0 lead. Here's Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. A dose of the hurry up offense here. Fields to throw it. Sack, another pass on second down. Got a man, coverage lost him, complete. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. 
We will not get another play in here. That's going to do it for quarter number one. Neither side separating much so far. We'll make our return to NRG Stadium after this. Second quarter, all queued up and ready to go. It's Steeler football. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. We'll get this to Jefferson. And they get this down to the ten-yard line before going down. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Working quickly here. Working inside the red zone. Gets this one to Harris. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. Third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. The Steelers calling their first time out. And they'll have two left to work with here in the first half. Second and three now. Hey. Here we go. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he pushed for it, but they managed to stop him at the two. They pick up a yard, still need one more though. Third down coming up. You know, kid, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. You gotta be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. Here we go, Scott. The Texans bringing out an extra DB. Third down coming up. We've hit the two-minute warning now at NRG. The Steelers facing a deficit near the break. Third and a lone yard coming up. Dumbs up, ready? Right. Right. He has it on the QB sneak. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers start to fight back with their first points of this game. It's a Justin Fields touchdown on a quarterback sneak to the end zone. They broke out the design run for him there. Coach just tells him, hey, Brock, KQB, do your thing, get a six. Yeah, and these offensive coaches love this play, and defensive coaches hate it, Kate, because it really gives you an extra hat, right, an extra number when your QB's got the athleticism, got the legs, got the instincts to go run it in for six. A defensive nightmare. An offensive touchdown. Now Boswell on to send this away. This return starts at the five. And he brought this one almost to midfield before he's tackled. When you get contributions like that out of your kickoff returner, it is such a boost to an offense. This is about showing no fear. Hitting the lane hard, a determined run back, and setting your offense up with great field position. Pass caught by Mixon. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. The clock rolls as the Texans try to hurry their offense to the line. Back to throw, Stroud. Finding Collins. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. The clock rolls as the Texans try to hurry their offense to the line. From the 41. He's got him. That's Mixon. And he's taken down at the 30. The clock rolls as the Texans try to hurry their offense to the line. To the air. Stroud. Into a ton of traffic. And this one's intercepted. Cameron Sutton has the INT. 
And the Steelers are stopped on the return just shy of their own 35. We see quarterbacks in this league love targeting their slot guys so often. They get plenty of chances defensively to take one the other way. Nice to see him come through with that one. And what a great read to get in position for that pick. Just over 30 seconds left in the half as they come to the line. Here we go, Scott. They bring their tight end left. Scott. Field throwing here. Short pass caught by his tight end. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here we go. Scott. Fields looking to throw. He's on the move. He can run it. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. Well, you don't get the first down, but I'll tell you this, Kate, that drives the defense and the defensive coordinator nuts. They do everything right. They win, and yet still QB makes something out of nothing. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 47. Escapes the pocket. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's a Steelers first down. The Steelers use their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Timeout coming from the Texans. That's their first. Here comes Chris Boswell and the Steelers field goal unit. From the right hash, this is going to be a 51-yarder. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. So we're through two quarters now, still a half of football to be played. We'll be back with more of the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back, everybody. Kate Scott, Brock Heward with you as we're about set to begin the third quarter. Now Boswell on to send this away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. They'll get this drive started. Hey, uno, First and ten. Uno, 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 uno. All right. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately quick, right? dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Has his man. It's Mixon. He pushes it up across the 30 before going out. Robin, 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 Robin. And the Steelers go in nickel. Third down. Here's Stroud now. Collins there to grab it. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. Look the hot, look the hot. Looking to throw. Throw caught by his running back. And they drag him down just in time. He's shy of the marker. It's a turnover on downs. You know, these fourth down plays are all about trust. You lean into what you do best. Here we go. Unfortunately, with the lack of execution, you're going to throw that one off the playlist. Bring him down at the 25-yard line after surrendering some good yardage. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Easy, easy, easy. Harris once more. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Offense up to the line fast. To throw on third and two. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on to the contact. I think that was a throw pick that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose. 
before he could secure it fully. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. It's an 11-yard gain to back up the considerable gamble there on fourth down, and they move those chains. Here we go. Staying on the ground with Harris. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. We'll be quickly trying to get set again. Back-to-back carries here. And he'll pick up a little down to the 12-yard line. It's a gain of three after the loss, but still third and eight to work with. Throwing from the gun. He brings it in. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. A dose of the hurry-up offense here. Ooh, maybe some nerves there. He moved early on fourth down. Now we're going to see if this affects their choice to go for it. Here comes Chris Boswell in the Steelers field goal unit. He's hit once already. This is a short one inside of 30 yards. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll double their lead to six. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Throwing his round. And they'll make the stop up at the 46 yard line. Offense in the hurry up here. So we're through three here. The Texans have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard. New set of downs for him from the 46. Here we go. Close, 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 close. On first down, they'll run. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Working quickly here. From the 48. He's got it. Room to run. And he's stopped cold at the spot. He keep paid for that one, but hey. Still enough for that first down. Now it's Stroud. That's incomplete left side. Couldn't connect with Tank Dell. And now they face second down. Here's Stroud. Digs there to bring it in. And they get this down to the 28. Offense up to the line fast. second timeout. We'll see how judicious they choose to be with that final timeout. 
All right, one more snap before the two-minute warning. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he has a gain of four on the run, which runs us up to the two-minute warning. And that takes us to the two-minute warning in Houston. Texans trail by six. Second and six coming up here. To throw. The throw is caught. And that play is brought to a halt. They're going to say at the five-yard line. Keeping that pace going as the clock continues to run. Here's the give on third and short. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. The Steelers use their third and final timeout. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore oh, index God, card down God. there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. takes a knee. Buckle up. It's third and goal. All right. Hey, uno more. Uno more. Now to throw. They dump it off to the back. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. <laughs> I'll tell you, that is a humbling moment to see a completed third down pass actually go backwards instead of towards the sticks. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a four no, to no, try to reach no. that end zone. There's a high, there's a high. Hey, uno, 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 uno. One final shot here. <laughs> Deflected. Oh, they couldn't bring it off the tip drill, though. They had the chance they wanted, Brock. But no, that's how this one's going to end. So the Steelers come in and take this on the road. And save for a few moments in that opening quarter, Brock, they pitched a shutout defensively that in the end was the impetus for the victory. They're going to be bummed not to have that goose egg on the board at the end of this one, no doubt, but a performance to be lauded nonetheless. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.